Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. Listen, this is the start of a new week. It's a fresh start and we're into the third week, I believe it is, of our Fresh Start series. We've been talking about the power of perspective, the value of vision. We've been talking about how the promises of God help us to understand that we can be propelled into our purpose following after the promises of God. And today, we're gonna talk this week, we're gonna talk even more in detail about the power of purpose. You know, God made everything for a purpose, including me and you. And God has placed us in this life, in this season, in this moment, to fulfill the purposes that he's placed on us. And it's so important for us to remember the purpose of why we're here, to remember what we're doing and what we're doing it for. One of my favorite people is Herm Edwards. He's now, I believe, the coach of the Arizona State University football team. But he used to coach in the National Football League and he used to coach the New York Jets. And the New York Jets had come up on a rough spot. They dropped a couple of games and he was answering questions in a press conference about whether his team should give up on the season, start looking forward to next year and getting draft picks and the like. And, and Coach Edwards got a little frustrated, or it seemed to me he did, as he was answering the questions and he just basically stepped out from behind the podium and reminded the reporters and everyone else why they are in the NFL. And he said these words, you play to win the game. And he kept repeating that, you play to win the game. And it's become a meme, it's become something that people uh, say in different situations, but I think it's profound because what Coach Edwards was reminding the reporters, the fans, and his team is that you don't just play to, to play the game. You don't just play to, to, to finish out the season. He says you actually play with a purpose. And here's what most people don't know about that quote. The next game that the Jets played was against the San Diego Chargers on the road in San Diego. They were slated to lose that game. Everybody picked San Diego to win. But because the team got focused on the goal of winning the game, that's in fact what they went out and did. They beat the Chargers that day 44 to 13. In fact, Coach Edwards went on to lead his team to the playoffs. They won the division. They made it to the AFC divisional round. They had a, a good season because he kept his team focused on the purpose. And that's what I want to do this week. I want to keep you focused on the purpose, why we live this life for Christ, why we live this life of faith. So this week, we're going to talk about finding faith, finding purpose, I should say, in your faith. Why are we pursuing God like we do? Why do we worship? Why do we read the word? Why do we pray? There's a purpose in that. And there's a purpose in you being a part of a family, me being a part of a family. Why have you been born into the family that you're in? Why are you part of the church family that you're a part of? Why are you part of the teams and the organizations that you belong to? There's purpose in family and fellowship. And then even with our money and our resources, there's purpose in what God gives us and why he gives it to us. And he wants us to do certain things with the money and the resources that he gives to us. And then of course, finally, we're gonna talk about how you can find purpose in your fitness. Yes, even in your fitness and your health, God has a purpose. He wants to see you healthy so he can do more things through you. So we're going to talk about all of those things this week. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to begin to pray, to ask God to sharpen your mental focus so that you can hear his voice about what your purpose is in this season. As you are turning the page on a fresh start, whether again, that's a fresh start in your year, a fresh start, a new season, maybe you're starting a new job, Maybe a new opportunity has opened up. Maybe there's just something bubbling up in your heart about doing things a different way in your life. As you begin to move down this path of a fresh start, it's so incredibly important that you stay focused on your purpose. So I want you to ask God to sharpen your focus on your purpose. If you don't know your purpose, begin to pray that God through these series of messages will begin to reveal to you the elements of his purpose for your life. I'm praying for you. I'm believing God's best for you. I'm believing you're going to have a wonderful week this week as we delve into the purposes of God in our faith, in our family, in our finances, and in our fitness. I'll be back tomorrow with the next installment. Be victorious. God bless.